Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we set up this, and I am so happy with this. I just, I still need to get some farmers in here. I guess I need to wait for some of these to actually grow up so I can put them into these slots. Uh, we also have automated iron over here, and we have these uh, farmers and fletchers over here for emeralds. I think in the long, long run, getting one trading hole for every, or not like a whole way, but a trading... Um, whatever this thing is called, the, uh, the the trading cube. Getting one for every single possible villager job is probably going to be a good idea. But before we do anything else, I just want to check this out real quick. I have no shots, so there's really no point to me checking this whatsoever. I have no shots. I can't do anything. What is this? Uh, 452? Okay, I have a little bit. But that's what we set up in the last episode. What I want to do today is basically run more vaults. We have $14 shards in total right there. We have $2 stars in there. If we are to do anything, and I think refined storage is probably next on my target list, I need more knowledge. But also mechanism or thermal expansion would be really cool as well. Thermal expansion especially. Uh, I don't know what I would use it for. Junk management also is also cool. Basically, I need to run vaults to get more resources. And for that, I, I need card. But that reminds me, if I have a barrel and place a barrel in here, my question is, can I have fish? Technically, I can. I mean, I only have 35 emeralds, but if I just combine all of my sticks and wood and stuff... Wait, stick stack? I didn't know this was a thing. That's awesome. And hold on, if I take this and convert it to planks, can I convert it into sticks? <gasps> That's huge. This is an infinite stick hack. I love this. This is amazing. This is truly amazing. Now I just take all these, convert them to sticks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Finally, a useful uh, like void item right there. This is awesome. So I go ahead to the Fletchers and get a bunch of emeralds for that. And you do not want to sell me anymore. So how many of these would I need to buy? I need 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid for, for emeralds. Uh, this is cool, though. Um, em em Emperor what? I, I, I don't know. That was such a stupid use of my emeralds that I could ever think of, ever. But I'm pretty sure if I just double check with the farmer that, yep, I can trade in carrots and beetroots. Uh, so if I just go ahead and farm this up real quick, why, why can't I, like, farm multiple? Okay, I feel like this used to be that it would target a large area. Maybe I had something like a skill before, but I didn't have to press every single one of them. Uh, wait, I need a hoe, right? That's what I need, a hoe. If I have a hoe, I can... Yep, there we go. Awesome. Then let's harvest the potatoes. Let's fly up here and get all the beetroots. I mean, for this part, create would be cool because we could just automate this part basically with create machines. And my inventory is essentially full and I really should like put these back because they're annoying. And now I walk slowly so this stuff actually follows me over. It's not. Okay, took care. And now I just go ahead and trade all those in. To go ahead and trade all that in. And where's the beetroots? Yep, there we go. Boom. We now have basically the same amount of animals as we had before. This is cool. Now what I need to do is release these. And I mean, uh, to be honest, I get a lot of buckets. I don't know what I would ever need this amount of buckets for. But I have them. And, uh... It's good, I guess. I get a little bit more value for money. Now, I wonder if I can just... Yep. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yep. Crystal has now been completed. Ooh, a treasure bra brazier. Plus 100 item rarity. That is kind of cool. Just need to wait for the vault to actually load. Anytime now. Anytime. Yep, there we go. One block at a time. Just, just take your time. Take it. Yep, there you go. Just take it slow. Take it easy. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna be rusty. I, I know I say this every single time, but I've been playing a lot of all the mods 9 to the sky. Oh, hello. And I've been really enjoying that pack. So I haven't really been uh, having a lot of time with Vault Hunter. So it's gonna be good to come back to this. Why? What? Why? That, there we go. I was losing you. See what I mean? Uh, strength and trap disarm. I don't want traps. I also have my two bounties, getting an inscription and mining Ashium ore. This is such a cool POI, honestly. 
Oh look, a nice pink door, which I don't have the key for because I have it on another gem. I would be so. I hate. I hate big zombies, and I hate these ones even more. Ah, uh, man, regeneration and slowness. You know what? That's actually not too bad. I already have speed, so I think I can take that. Ooh, loot belt. Do I go for it though? Is it worth 16 gold? Ooh, that's cool though. I'm not gonna take it. Realistically, do I need a loot belt? I have these double pouches. I no, I, I honestly don't need it. I actually don't need it. I'm gonna be mature and I'm gonna be wise and, or, or something. That's not the word for it. I'm, I'm gonna be smart with my gold. Okay, I'm not gonna buy stuff that I don't think I'm gonna use. Oh, what may this be? Loot ornate chests 12. I haven't found a single one. This is gonna go well. Okay, this is a nice little old room. Maybe I can find some potassium for my quest. Minus two hit point, 5% copiously. Getting that before mining all the ores in this room would have been nice, just saying. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take it anyway. Minus two hit points, that's only a heart. I can deal without that. Ooh, champion. I really don't like you, zombie, though, but I will get the champion killed because that's XP and it's cool stuff. Please get away, you stinking little baby zombie. You're getting in the way of my champion kill. Please die soon. That would be nice. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, axe. You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to kill you. Oh, I have to kill you. I thought you were stuck. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Grants plus 10 strength for five minutes. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Do I need it? No, but I'll take it. Oh, look at that damage. Look at the damage I'm dealing. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Ooh, ornate chest, finally, with only half the time remaining, and that's only two ornate chests. I am so doomed. Item quantity and mob speed. Yeah, I can deal with mob speed. Oh, look, another door. I need, I need more key pieces. I so need more key pieces. Next vault I make with the catalysts and whatnot, I need, I need to get gilded chests. I'm pretty sure I, I'm wasting a very valuable time here, but key pieces, uh, yep, yeah, uh, gilded loot. So that's the next thing. That's the next thing. All right, some more ornates. That was four. So that's one, 12 and I have three minutes. I highly doubt it's going to get completed, you know. Oh, am I going to survive this fall? Yeah, I am, because I'm a pro. I see that and I go the wrong way to get uh, to the next room. That's, <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. Uh, that I'm not gonna take. I can do better than that. The chests are good. We need the knowledge. Oh, we have a dungeon. Is it gonna... Ooh, it's normal. I have two minutes before I get a curse, so... It's an ornate one. Oh, it's ornate. I can actually not get the curse, maybe, if I can get enough ornate chests. I can definitely deal with this. Definitely. If I can get enough of these. So that's one. That's five out of twelve. Oh, yeah, I might be able to do this. I might definitely be able to do this. Uh, maybe. Be sure to use the poison nova. Yep. Be sure that I have space to retreat in. There we go. More than a minute. More than a minute. I just need three. That's one, two. Just need one more. Wait. Please tell me there's one more. I, I didn't go down. Good. I didn't go down. You know what? I don't care if the champion spawns it. I got it. I did it. I did it. Okay. Now, I can go ahead and use poison nova and get rid of these fellas. Okay. We actually, that was perfect timing. That's actually a lot here. Nice. What's gonna be in here? Ooh, champion, 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 poison nova. I don't have enough to do the poison nova. Oh, actually, this is fairly easy. This is fairly easy. Nice. Got it. <laughs> no alchemy station or whatever it's called, but we're getting some vault gear, which I can't complain about. All right, nice. Less stressful now. And we also have one of these here, chip fuel, trinket scrap, don't care. Yep, not good enough to buy anything from. Okay, we have seven minutes. I need to light all the braziers that I can. I'm actually going to take this because I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Now I just need one and I still, I believe after lighting all the braziers, I need to actually get out of here. So yeah, I'm just going to take that one so I can just grab any one that I see and then get out of here. That's the plan anyway. Another vendor door, key piece. Yep. And mod box. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna waste my ooh. What's my ah, uh, that's also Omega. I don't I don't need to upgrade right now. How much was that? How how much was that? Yeah, 28. Uh, no, not worth it. Not worth it. The key pieces though. Definitely were. Ooh, I'm actually up here. Oh nice. Don't fold out. Don't fold out. Don't fold out. Okay, what is this? Trap disarmament soul shards. Ah, we can do 
much better than that. However, I may not have time to do much better than that when I'm done looting this room, which then it would be fine because then I wouldn't be looting anymore. I have to say there's a lot of living chests in this vault. Oh, look, another door. If only we had that specific key. <laughs> it's gonna be years before I find the key that I have crafted with the first key. That I'm gonna be crafting another key before the first key that I have made and I'm going to use the new newly crafted key before the old key that I made is actually going to be <laughs> it's actually going to be uh be taken into use okay I do need to hurry up back I just want to see if there's potentially some living chest or something right next to the store if there is that would be cool uh there is actually so I'm gonna grab these that I'm gonna get out of here quickly break this and get this and get this final one Oh, and there's living chests over there. I have to take them. I have to take them. We came in here for knowledge, and we are gaining knowledge fast. That's actually a lot of living chests in here. Oh, look at that one. That's hiding. Pillage for loot. I might as well. Don't know if I got anything. Uh, that's gilded. That that is gilded, isn't it? Uh, do I have? I do have kiwis. Um. <laughs> okay. I just want to get this. I just want to get this. Gilded is potential key pieces. Didn't get a key piece. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. See ya. Oh, we're at the end of the vault anyway. I didn't even realize. All right, now just to run all the way home. And I do have slowness, which is not ideal, is it? But we got a lot of loot. We completed all the braziers. And, and I think we have oh, probably well, 128 knowledge. Because we did get a lot, or at least thereabouts. Now I just need to actually get back with my life intact. And without running out of time. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, we had plenty of time. Look at that. Plenty, plenty of time. Well, I'm just gonna exit because we got everything. 41,366 XP, 147 chests looted, and 225 mobs are alive. I'd say that that was a pretty good success. And we're at level 55, and we have an unspent expertise point. Ooh. I could get Lucky Altar, but it would also be fun to get something else. When applying a normal catalyst to a crystal, there's a chance to not apply a negative modifier. In extra capacity on crystals that you craft, allowing you to modify them further. Yep, yep, definitely getting that. That's very cool. Strength is maxed. Haste is not maxed. Speed would be cool. Question is if I should start saving my unspent skill points. But I could also keep upgrading things like sorcery or prudent. I could also upgrade the damage for- yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the damage for Javelin. Who are we kidding? Oh, come on. I come back and this is how you upgrade it? Uh, wait, wait, how many key- I need- I need eight key pieces, right? I need eight key pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Am I- uh, do I- do I need- yep, I need eight. Okay. Eight inscription pieces. Not too bad. Okay, let us check the red pouch. We got 115 knowledge essence. That's actually pretty good. I'll take that for sure. We now have- 27 and we have maxed out Larimar. <laughs> well, let us fix that real quick. Just slap an upgrade a slot on that and boom. Please give me a relic. Ooh, this relic does look familiar though, if I'm being honest. But it's not. It is a fourth one. So now we have one, two, three, four, where we just need either one of them. And we have, well, we will be completing another relic. Come on, I want a new relic. If my math is correct, ooh, three. So we technically would have five. Hmm. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Two picking jewels. I honestly don't care. All right, how much are we give guessing that I need to throw away? Ah, this is actually decent, but not good enough. Find a rare, these are common. No match whatsoever, except for the health. And then it doesn't have the suffixes, so nope. I'm probably never going to use axes, so that's a nope. 52 extra mana, plus one level to heal and mana regen. Ah, but my shield is good though. But this too is good. And the disarm chat. Ah, the focus is good. I'm, I'll think about it. Helmet is no match. Chest plate is no match. The leggings here are no match. And the boots are also no match. But this focus... It's annoying me. Right now I have 159 mana. If I have this on, I not only have 58 mana extra, I get another level in heal, which do I have that uh, leveled up completely? Uh, it's fully learned, so I guess p 8 plus 1. <laughs> I don't know if that's even how that works, if it even has an effect like that, but 
yeah, it, it, I'll, I'll pass 200 mana. And it has plus 30% mana regen, so it regenerates faster. My shield doesn't have that, it only has extra health. I don't know, I might try and run with the focus and see how it is, but I, I'm afraid that I'll get used to the large amount of mana and then just be like, you know what, this this is cool, but uh, I don't know, 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 I don't know. I'll try and run with it. I'll try and run with it. This is full. This is getting full. Why is it getting full? Because of these. All right, let's see what we get from this thing. Uh, ooh, some relic stuff. Okay, this is exciting. We got unidentified relic. We got item rarity and smelting jewel and trap the sub chance. We got some scrappy armor, which we're not even gonna consider. Please be one of the ones that I don't have. Ooh, chance. That's a chance. That's a chance. <laughs> why? 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 Oh, why? I feel let down. Hmm, if I was to pick, which one of these do I want to choose? I almost always go with refined storage. This mod lets you store your items on digital data disks. It's like hard drives. It has a digital search terminal. Refined storage is known for its simplicity when it comes to digital networking, but have some limiti limiting factors because of it. Autocrafting is possible, but gated behind automatic genius. Applied Logistics is smart allowed to blah blah blah, like hard drives, it has a digital search terminal. Applied Logistics is a bit more complex than its similarity, refined storage, but has less limitations and game. Auto crafting is possible, but gated behind automatic genius. I really don't know which one of these to pick. I mean, I've played with refined storage before, so I would know, oh, I need the disk drive, then I'm going to need some sort of uh, terminal, crafting grid, something, and then I need this, and then I need that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, all these recipes seem fairly simple and easy enough to make. I know if it's refined storage, I will simply need a controller, some sort of grid. I would like the crafting grid to be ideal, but we'll start off with the grid. Then disk drives. I'll need external storages, maybe some exporters and importer as well. And this should be all be fairly doable. I'll need quartz, chromatic iron and Larimar gems. But this is what I'll be needing primarily. And then this, which requires an Echo Park, which I probably can afford. And then you have Applied Logistics, which I've never played with before. I would assume you need some sort of ME controller. Then an ME drive, maybe? Storage cells, or ME covered cable, uh, glass ca- oh dear me. Crafting terminal, that would be the, the same as that, but why? My Asian core project, so I would need the inscriber, which requires this, which probably requires power. I'm tempted to try with Applied Energistics because I've never played it before. Applied Energistics, however, also has this weird crystal system, which looks cool. Then I need to throw in water, charge certus, charge certus quartz is crafted by inserting uncharged certus quartz crystal into the charger, empowering it, so I would need some sort of charger. This thing right here. And I'm pretty sure I don't have that Certus Quartz stuff laying around. Yeah, I think refined storage is just going to be the simplest to use for now. I'll sleep on it. Then I'm gonna craft these. Then I'm gonna use all five. And I'm gonna pick refined storage. Boom, it's done. Can't go back now. Un impossible to go back. Applied Logistics is still five, so we could get it in the future very easily. But there we go. We, we now have refined storage, ladies and gentlemen. That's interesting. We have one mod box to go with it. <laughs> Let's see what we get, and we get one of these. Actually, I'm not mad about that. I'm honestly not mad about that, because again, I want every single one of these, so... Yeah, I don't know where to put you... I'm gonna put it in the storage for now. Oh yeah, so we're gonna be saying goodbye to these. Oh, that's gonna be so weird. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this. We're setting this up, and hopefully we're generating enough power for this. So the first thing that I need is going to be the controller. I need chromatic steel iron. I need a bunch of construction cores, advanced processors, destruction cores, and improved processors. Then I need the machine casing, of which that should be fairly easy. Then I need a bunch of quartz enriched iron, which is chromatic iron, quartz, and larimar. So I need a ton of larimar on me at all times. I also need a ton of this, of which I don't have a ton. Hold on, this is not ideal. Uh, I need more chromatic iron, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'll get back to that in a moment. I also need quartz, of which I have eight. So that is the first mission. Get more chromatic uh, iron and get more quartz. So equip the elytra, go ahead and take the warp stone, and we're gonna go to the nether first. 
And I think the easiest place to get quartz is probably going to be in this area. So I'm going to turn this way, jump and fly. Yep, and here we go. Just activate the magnet and we should be getting tons of quartz very quickly. I'm going to say when this is full, which shouldn't take too long, we should be good to head back home, but not until that has happened. And I think this is going to do it. Nope, just need a couple more veins. And there we go. We have quartz for probably quite a long time. I'm just going to take all this stuff that is here. If I see any more big patches, I might as, I might as well take it because I'm here. Might as well use one more minute to gather this stuff that I can see because we will be needing it probably in the future as well. I mean, I assume the altar can actually ask for this. So if we gather it now, we don't have to gather it later. All right, my inventory is pretty much full now. This is the final one. Boom, get that one, get this, teleport back home. And home, sweet home. So that is the quartz, that is very good. I'm gonna add most of it to here, have three in my inventory. Just better, we're gonna make sure I don't have any chromatic steel ingots or chromatic iron ingots in there. I don't, and I don't have ores in here. Right, that means that I need to go ahead and find some sort of cave. Big cave, I assume that we're gonna go to this one and we're gonna take a look around. Oh dear, I wish I had my vision. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I've already gathered all the chromatic iron from this place. Why is there four baby villages, baby zombies after me? I don't know. Go away. As I was saying, I would assume that I have actually gathered most of the stuff from here. That's sort of squats dust. There we go. Is this a sign? Don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I'm also going to start adding and gathering some of these other ores because as we get into modded, I will be needing stuff. Ooh, diamonds. Oh, apply the logistics. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now now I'm getting stuff for it. This is, uh, th this is, yeah, the th oh, wrong button. This is probably, yeah. Hmm. Hello? There we go. No pre -rate. Go away. And that's easy enough. Goodbye. 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 Okay. Chromatic iron. That's all I'm here for. Chromatic iron. Below minus 30. Okay, so I'm at the right place now, finally. And hello, chromatic iron, magnet on, this should, oh wow, this is a big one. <laughs> this is, this is a big one. Let's throw some of this stuff out that I'm not going to use. Yep, that is, that's a lot. That's a lot. Is it enough? I don't know. We're gonna try, well, actually, I'm stuck here for another one and a half minutes, so I might as well look for more, honestly. Redstone. I feel like redstone is something that I'm going to be lacking quite a bit, so I'm gonna prioritize. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get a lot more redstone. Oh, hello. Oh, but how am I gonna have all of that? I don't, uh, I don't have space for it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, right. Go away with all this, and can I... I can't combine it because I don't have... Okay. I need all of this, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye, sink. Goodbye, surface thingy, goodbye iron, and goodbye gold. All right, and with that, we can... Wait, hit me. There we go. With that, we can now get home. Now all I need to do is add this to there and put the rest of the stuff there. Very good. Take a quick nap. And this is basically finished. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay, so now I should have most of what I need on me. So let's see. First step is to make a lot of this. And why is that not working? Does it have to be a big craft table? Ah, okay, fair enough. Two stacks of that, and I need vault diamond. I'm just gonna have a stack of this at, on me at all times, and half a stack of this should do it. So machine casing, boom. That's our first step right there. We need that for the disk drive. We also need, we don't need it for the grid, and we also need it for the controller. So I actually need one more of these. Right, we're trying to make the controller first, so I now need to make some of these construction cores. So that is the red one, is the yellow one, yellow one combined with that. So I need to make double of the yellow ones. Uh, I need to make a ton of these, and I also need to make a ton of these. So I need to make three times as many of these as I would normally. And for that, I need raw process, basic processor, processor binding, and block of redstone. And I was afraid of this. I really hope that I will have enough redstone for this. It doesn't look like I have a lot. Processor binding is magic silk and slime balls, of which I have all nearly 300, so not a problem. I'm just gonna make like, I think I'll need a lot of this, so I'm gonna make a couple of stacks here, like that. And I need to make some of these, which is more silicon. And for that, I'm going to need some of that quartz. And I'm just gonna smelt this lot. How are we doing for power up here? 
seriously? That that's all you could do for a leap? Come on. I was gonna ask how are we doing for power over here. We're actually doing pretty well. And those solar panels can get uh, upgraded to produce even more power. That's a lot of silicon. I love to see it. So I need basic processes for the gold ones and for the raw as well there. So I'm gonna make Oh yeah, I need a lot of redstone. Oh dear me. Hold that thought. Cleric and witches. Cleric witches. Are you kidding me? I don't have a blaze rod? Okay, I don't have a witch spawn egg. Right, I'm gonna go down here then. Take a bunch of these. Get a quick temporary chest for all this stuff. Turn all of these into mystery hostile spawn eggs. And I wanna see if I can get a witch. I haven't seen one yet. Then I'm just gonna use all these. Let's take a look. Nope, not a single witch spawn egg. Okay. Well, that's that out of the out of the question. We did get quite a few new ones though. All of these actually we didn't already have, so that's cool. There's only one thing left to do then though. Place this in there. Get quite a few blazes. Teleport down. Get a bunch of blaze rods. <laughs> that's cool. Get out of here. Oh, I forgot to place. Okay, there we go. Brewing stand. Fly back up here. They shoot back there. Can I get out of here? Yep, I can. And go ahead and give this to you. And boom, we got redstone in there. Oh, well, I was gonna use sticks to get a lot of. Uh, yeah. Okay, farmers, what do you want? Okay, I actually have a lot of farm produce in my inventory. Or storage, I should say. Go ahead and get as many emeralds as possible for all of this stuff. I also need to make sure that I am not trying to overdo this because how many will I actually be needing? Because for this, I will I'll be needing one of those. I'll be needing one of those. I'll be needing one of each. So that is three. So that is uh one, two, six so far. External storage. I'll need then nine. Uh, tw nope, fourteen. I think uh. Maybe like 16. Yeah, I'll probably if I make like 24 or so. So this should actually be able to cover it. This is a little bit painful to watch the emeralds go away like that. But uh, we're going to upgrade them like that. And I was hoping for a little bit of a uh, discount. Oh, there we go. OK, right. What do you want? Gold families, rotten flesh families. OK, I mean, I can get rotten flesh very easily. And all that for two extra blocks of redstone. <laughs> Uh, right. I don't even have that much gold. No rotten flesh. I mean, I have a lot of pumpkins I can sell for emeralds. What if I just go ahead and do this very painfully so I have a little bit of rest of dust remaining? I think this will be okay. I think this will be okay. I have thought more about it. I think this will be okay. I have 21. I think this is fine. So to make this, I oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's it's not wet. Where's my redstone? I need. Uh, okay, I need to count how many of the advanced processes I need. Oh, and then I need more redstone. Okay, see you fellas much much later. <laughs> this cave is honestly so ginormous. There's so much stuff everywhere, and also in this specific corner, I don't know why there is an unbelievable amount of bobs. And look what I found. A spawner. Spider spawner. I mean, I'll take the redstone for sure. Not even sure where I got the sink and the gold from, but I'll take it. Oh, wow. It's good. It goes up. Okay. I mean, look, there's even a mine shaft here. I mean, I might as well take some. I have the inventory space for it. Okay. I think this is enough redstone to last me for at least a little while. And now I think it's time to take a nap and ponder over the adventure I have been on. Now I can go ahead and basically do this. Boom. Redstone should no longer be an issue, at least for a little while. Okay, there we go. We have the processors now. Basically, if you didn't know, you make these by smelting the raw improved processor. So there we go. That's that. Next, I need to make a couple of construction cores and also some destruction cores. Of which you make by this. I'll make four of each, I think. Uh, I have too much stuff on me. There we go. I will be needing some more chromatic steel. So I have plenty of this. I just need to get some carbon in here. And if I activate my magnet, it should follow me. And boom, more chromatic iron has been made. All right, here we go. Controller, boom. Step one. Step two, grid. We'll get back to that. 
Uh, <laughs> disk drive, I need a chest and I need two black chromatic ingots of which I have one. And you make them by using perfect black opal, of which for us is very easy to get. I also need a perfect Larimar, and do I have a park laying around here somewhere? I do! So I can actually go ahead and make the grid, which is this fella right here. Then all I need is a chest, of which I have one right there, so this should be the disk drive. And that should be everything, however, I of course need some storage disks. And I feel like making either 4k or 16k is going to be the way to go. To make these a new storage housing, which you guess, you guessed it, you have all redstone. I'm glad I got a lot. And then I need this, which is then a lot more chromatic steel uh, ingots. And this, which is more silicon, that's fine. So really the expensive part here is, oh dear, they, yeah, we'll stick with 4k for now. Basically, I need a lot more chromatic steel ingots, which I mean, I can, I can afford. But I can, I think I can slowly start to remove some of these things that I won't be needing. Or some of the silicon, I will need a lot of silicon actually. I need even more chromatic steel ingots. This is, I have actually just emptied our carbon deposit. Uh, this could be scary. This is very scary actually. This is all the raw carbon that we have, seriously? Oh dear, <laughs> I, I'm a bit scared now. Okay, boom, that is probably all of the chromatic iron that we can actually, uh, chromatic steel that we can actually afford. Ooh, that's, that's, that's scary. We should be smart about this, however, because we still have this thing which we can upgrade and it is only, okay, it's almost, it's, it's two thirds, three, four, fifth full, but we also have this thing over here and this can be upgraded still. So those will be external storages, both of them. Um, and I think we'll just mix everything together, vault stuff and non-vault stuff. I think I'll need to think about it. Uh, so basically, I think I'll only need like two 4K storage parts. So I'll grab this redstone, grab some vault essence, and we can go ahead and make, we can make a lot, but we need three for each 4K. So that's one, two, that's one and two, I think. No, we need three for each one of these and we need six of these in total. No, that's wrong. Okay, we need one per each. Okay, so this should honestly be it. Is it really that cheap? <laughs> Storage housing, two of those. We need a couple of perfect Larimar. One, two, that, that was it? Wow, that was easier than I expected. And there we go, two 4K storage disks. Now I wanna make more. I mean, we'll need the storage anyway, right? Right, guys? We'll need the storage anyway. <laughs> I think we'll need the storage anyway. There we go, four 4K storage disks. Wow, that was a lot of crafting, but it's good. We still have a lot of this, but that's because we, need, we still need some of that stuff. We're not quite done yet. We have the grid, we have the controller, we have the disk drive. We have a golden apple for some reason. <laughs> Uh, I still need to make some external storages, which is this, so I actually need to get my quartz back. I think I, hmm, importer. Is, am I correct in assuming that I'll be able to import stuff from my pouches? First of all, though, I'll need some cable. In fact, I'll probably need quite a bit of cabling. I'll make one more, and then I'll need an importer, just so I can try it out. You know what, I'll make an exporter as well, uh, just to see, and then I'll need a couple, uh, an interface. An interface and some chests. How much for an interface? Uh, okay, for the interface I'll need that. Then I'll need, oh, I need him, okay, yep, this. I've done this before on a world with my friend Monaco, and, oh boy, it was a lot of crafting. <laughs> oh, I only have seven. I only, ha I only have seven chromatic steel, I don't have enough to make two of these. Well, uh, I should be able to make a little bit more. Yep, I can afford a little bit more, but man, carbon is running low. Okay, one of those, so that is two interfaces, one, two, boom, then we have the external storage, except that I need uh, two more of each of these, so that's one, two, and then I need two of these, which is then like so. Man, I have just enough to make this, huh? One, two, boom. Oh dear. <laughs> this is expensive stuff. Well, that is everything except for the crafting grid. 
Now the crafting grid is not super necessary, but it would be very, very cool. Now for that, I will need one of every eight of every single one of these gems, which I haven't actually checked whether or not I have. I'll need this for the perfect uh, echo park right there. Then I need eight Gorgonite, eight Iscalium, eight Sparkletine, eight Topium, eight Pizza Knight, eight Bomagnite, eight Eupaline, eight Xenium, which we actually have quite a lot of, wow, eight Ashium, and that's it. That should be enough to make eight pogs like that, convert this into a perfect, and boom, we have an echo park, and then we can take a crafting table and combine this with this and grid, and we have a crafting grid. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially done it. We, we, we've done stuff. I need a nap now. That was exhausting. But that was just part one, ladies and gentlemen. That was part one. Now I need to actually install it. <laughs> um... And I need to hook it up to the power. Oh boy. Uh, right. Do I have any power cables? I have no power cables. Great. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll need to remove you. And I could go ahead and vein mine that, but I'm not going to. I'll do this manually for now. Remove all of these old pipes. I don't know if I'll need this. I don't think so. I don't think I'll be needing any of this old system, basically. So that's that removed. I believe we just plop an external storage to this. But to start off, I will go ahead and go over here. I will grab the crafting grid. I want that there. Okay. I want that there. I can't, I can't leak that much. I want that there. Then I want the controller to be uh, behind it. I want it to be behind it. But I also want the disk drive to be here. If the disk drive is there, I can probably still have this there and I can still access this. This is going to get this. So we have 16k of storage. And this is it. Now the controller just needs to get power. Which should be fairly easy because this thing have power. And we're running power right here. So why couldn't I just have more of that? Power, 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 power. Where's the cables? No, but seriously, am I blind or are there no cables? What block, what block is this? Energy cable, basic. I must have been blind. I need dielectric rod, and I need basic capacitor. Do I have any, uh, <laughs> do, do I have any, uh, I, I won't know. I won't know, now will we? Because I need to, oh, there we go. I should have everything for, oh, just need, I get, uh, whatever. We'll make that. We can make one, two, three, four, one, smelt you because I can like that. Uh, I need more dielectric paste, it seems like. Oh, carbon, why? Why, why, why would you be carbon? Why carbon? Why? Oh, okay, right. So that is that. I, re oh, I really don't want to make more than I actually have to. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, that was the perfect amount, honestly. That was perfect. Energy cable starter, I just need ingot, it, uh, da, doop, da, ba, de, ba, nugget, de, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There we go. I'm just going to plop this into here. Don't think about it anymore. Go up here. And this is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen. This should power. Eh? What? <laughs> what? Why? 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 Why is this? It's connected, but it's not. Eh? It's getting power, I think. Why is this being weird? Why do I need to replace it all? Okay, well, you know what? It's working. It's working. It has power, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Boom. We have stuff. If I add stuff here, it gets added to this, which is, of course, not what we want. We want to utilize the external storage capacity. So we plop down this here. I'm pretty sure we set the priority to... Uh, let's with plus 10 for now because that means this will get prioritized over the discs which is what we want then we connect this up with cabling like so i believe and that should have connected let me let me let me okay so now when we go to this all of our items from before are now here which is great but we can do better i would like to connect you and you to this and i realize now that i only have one external story um, but I think we can do it. I just need to make a pathway under this. Um, okay, that might be an issue because I need to connect to the bottom of you. I need to connect to this, but I think, I think this is fine still. Why, why do I have trims all the way over there? 
that's so that this still works. So if I take some cheese, if I do this, it still goes through. Okay, good. Because then with an external storage, I should be able to connect it to you, uh, run it to the cable and then connect it like so, like so, and I should be able to now have the old gem. So if I go into here and I go to Oh, I want Laramar. Boom, that's the Laramar for us. This is awesome. I really don't know if I want to add this though, because this is really only dedicated to vault gear stuff or vault, uh, vault hunter stuff like items. So I don't think I'm gonna connect this just now. I will however, go ahead and uh, why are these different? Okay, you know what? Uh, doesn't matter. Now I want to see something if I take uh, my loot belt, okay, I go ahead and do this and I add a let's say I add a branch over here that has this and then I have an importer. Nope, I have an importer facing not mm -mm. I have an importer facing upwards. Yeah, and I go up here and say I were to plop this down here. Oh, it is actually doing it. It's actually doing it. It's taking it and then placing it into that thing. Oh, do we have speed upgrades? We have speed upgrades and then not super expensive. That's just glass and improved processor. Ooh, I assume we place upgrades here. And can you stack them? Okay, raw improved. Okay, nope, improved. Nope. Okay, I have zero of those. I need to make more. And I need so this, this is cool as well, because I can just go ahead and I can go ahead and do this, right? I, I could just add there clear, boom, Now I need to make these make as many of these boom, clear, done, and get me those back because I need to put them into the furnace. Doom, doom, doom. I can, I can, I can work from this basically. Crafting has just gotten a lot easier. Just boom. I, I don't, I don't need to worry about it anymore. Boom. Speed upgrade. Boom. Another speed upgrade. Boom. <laughs> I love this so much. Why did I do this earlier, man? Come on. Okay. Speed and speed. So let us now take even more dirt. Let's take a stack of dirt. Stack of dirt. Place it in here. Boom. How fast is this? That's decent. But I want more. However, I would assume that I that the max that I can do is actually four because they don't stack in here. So like I assume that this is the max. So I take some more dirt and I place this in here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Is the power keeping up? The power is keeping up as well. Right. So I need to figure out where I want this place then because I don't want it behind here. I definitely don't want that. That I would probably like to be like probably right next to this stuff. Like this is where I'm doing stuff anyway. Um, I won't need the crafting table anymore, to be honest. So I guess I could install it in the floor. Uh, is that gonna be weird if I do this? It's not because I'm gonna be smart about it and place another one there. Then I can go out here, break this temporarily, bring you out here, here. Then I block you off like so and I break you I place you there and I go ahead and I go import there and I take this back and I place you there and I break you and I break you and I place you there and there so we don't uh, that's gonna bug me that's gonna bug me and everyone else <laughs> there we go much better and now I basically have a place where I can just okay, I need to I need to empty my pouch just plop place it down and it happens. This stone cutter is a bit annoying though. Let's place it over here instead. I love this ladies and gentlemen. This is such a cool thing that dirt over there is annoying, but uh, I'll need to play replace all the stuff back here anyway. I need to actually cover all this up now. And this one can be placed with this and just cover this up like so. No one will ever know. And are we keeping up with power? We're actually not. So I don't think we're quite done yet. We're done when I don't have to worry about anything. Basically, I just looked at the time and I've been recording this for an hour now. Well, not the entire episode this session. It is the next day and this is taking me an hour so far. And we're not done. We're not done. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not done because this needs to be upgraded. Oopsie. Why? Where's the cable? Oh, that would be why it doesn't work. I've removed the cable. That's where these came from. Bruh. Okay. Uh, placing these back now. 
I can't get them to connect because I must have used one of the... Oh, wait, basic. Max, max transfer 2k. What are you then? 500. Oh, right. Yeah, remove those. Use the basic ones because they are much better. Add that there. Now it would make sense why we're not able to... <laughs> why we're not making any power because I removed the cables for it. Ugh. Now question, can this keep up with it? Oh yeah, it can. Nice. Okay, we shouldn't have power problems anytime soon. And even if we do, we only have the starter ones. We can pretty easily upgrade them to basic after we get some more resources. This, ladies and gentlemen, is fun. This is really good. We have access to this. Like, I, if I run in here, I can even access the key pieces. This is very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this episode here. This has been a great success. We only did one vault run. We'll run more in the next episode. But we got this. Why is it out of power? Why? What? Why? Are you kidding? What? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. My cable's in here. Uh, uh, panic. 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 Hello, Star Energy Cables. Basic. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, never, ever, ever vein mine power cables in your world. It's bad. It's bad for yourself. It's bad for business. <laughs> there we go. Are we now keeping up with power? Are we? We are. Okay, good. So without any further ado, let's please cover this up and cover this up as well and never speak of that issue ever again. So like I was about to say, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next one. Can we recycle anything? Nope, we cannot. Do we have any villagers over here ready for... Oh, we do actually. Uh, I need one of you for this. Uh, nope, I need to right click. There we go. Nice, we're generating stuff. We actually have a lot. I really don't care about the seeds, but we have a lot of stuff. But yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and good. Bye.